Hey everyone, happy Halloween for Bighorn Library. This is Rose Reed and I thought I'd share the craft we did with our youth club this week. Come on over here. These lovely spell books are all made out of an old, old set of encyclopedias that came into the library as I know that they do to your library too. We've done different altered books things over the years and this time we thought we would have a little fun and share them with the kids and let them make these wonderful spell books. I'll just show a couple of different techniques here. Along the top of this and this book, they've put a bead of white paint and then allowed it to drip down so it looks all melty and spooky. Some of the books have been covered with paint and um, uh, tissue paper to give you some very nice technique and you can hide things underneath the tissue paper and then once it's wet with glue you can uh, it gets quite flexible and you can do all sorts of things with it. Beads have been added, lace, all sorts of charms and things that come. We collect this stuff all the time. We have boxes full of bits and pieces that we let the kids have and they've been using a glue gun to put these on under careful supervision, of course, the only person who burnt themselves was yours truly. Um, here someone has used a glue gun to do a design and then black paint went over top of that and after the black paint some sparkly decoupage paint went on, some Mod Podge. This one hot glued down some uh, bits of yarn, some charms, and some smaller bits and pieces of things are under there as well for texture and then a white piece of tissue paper and then more Mod Podge and then a blue piece of tissue paper and as you see it begins to get this strange um, I don't know almost a uh, hide like sort of texture which is kind of cool then some sparkly Mod Podge over the top this one is my effort I went and saw how they wrote magic in the dictionary and I thought it looked kind of cool so I used that this is just a piece of rolled up scrunched up paper that I glued down and then put uh, Mod Podge over the top of to make it look like it was a bit of a vine growing on there and an overabundance of glitter I know it's a little problem of mine a little problem and this beautiful one done by uh, my adult daughter and she, it's I think it's just stunning she's used the glue gun to make a tree the trunks and branches and then interestingly to me she put down shiny beads and then painted black over top of everything and then rubbed some of the paint off the beads and it does I have to say give a really sort of antique interesting finish to it added on a couple of sparkly, sparkly flowers at the end and this is the Japanese word for cherry blossom this I mean and there were more of these done adults came in and did them kids did them and uh, of all ages and it was very very fun for everybody so I hope you'll give this a try nice low cost and wide interest kind of craft and now everybody has a spooky prop for when next year and our favorite time of year rolls around bye bye for now I'll see you again soon